Okay, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I'm just an idiot. And with that, I welcome you to another episode of The Real Mentor, where my goal, as always, is to enhance your movie watching experience. Now, three times is not the charm here. It's Ron Howard brings us again another Dan Brown adaptation. Of course, we had Da Vinci Code, we had Angels and Demons, and of course, now Inferno, starring all of them, Tom Hanks. Now, to be perfectly honest, I was not a big fan of the previous two installments. I actually did read the first two books, and they were very well done, but they don't really translate well into film. At least it hasn't been translated well anyway. Um, they've been just okay very forgettable. I don't, don't remember much about either one of those movies except for Tom Hanks himself, who as usual brings in, and he brings it here. He's always one of the best actors around. He does a fine job, of course, playing Professor Langford. But at the end of the day, this movie is much like the other ones, is just bland. Now, of course, in this one, we have, you know, uh, Tom Hanks again, trying to solve this mysterious and over complex riddle. Apparently, he's trying to save the world from a, a man created virus that's about to extinguish about 95%, 95% of the population. And this is riddle in order for him to find this virus, which has been hidden using uh, clues from uh, Dante's Inferno of, course, Inferno, of course, the famous uh, poem but way back in the day. And there's a lot of different organizations also going after this, um, whether some people who are trying to attain the virus to protect the human race, some actually trying to release it, and of course others who are trying to gain it so they can sell it. Now this all sounds very fascinating and interesting, but again, it just fell flat once again. This movie, it's not a bad movie, don't get me wrong, it isn't, and if you enjoy the prior two installments, you're probably going to enjoy this one. But to be honest with you, it's just, I don't think it's even as good as the other two, and that's not really saying much. It, it plods along, it's really, really slow. There's some okay moments in there, don't get me wrong, even the ending, although they gave us a kind of cliched villain who kind of gave us that monologue, and, but whatever, that, all that notwithstanding, at the end of the day, it just kind of takes so long to get there, and it really doesn't keep your attention. I found myself almost dozing off a few times. This movie is just one big, whew, Young Fest, to be perfectly honest with you, and it's not really worthy of your time or money in the theaters. Now, besides Tom Hanks, of course, Felicity Jones is in this, who we're going to see in a couple of movies this year. One will be Monsters Call, uh, Monster Calls, which might be one of the best movies this year. Uh, trust me on that. And, of course, she's going to be in the upcoming Star Wars Rogue One in December. She's actually good in this one. I, I, I was kind of curious about her. I don't know too much about her. She hasn't been in a whole lot of movies, so it gave me a good gauge of me what to expect of her in Star Wars. So I guess that's a good thing. And, you know, she actually partners up with Tom Hanks' character to try to resolve the riddle and try to find this virus before it's unleashed on, on, on mankind. But ultimately, again, this is a much more interesting premise than it is a movie falling way, way flat. And, and again, I'm not disappointed because I wasn't expecting much. And honestly, at the end of the day, I just can't recommend it. Um, this is one movie where it's, it could be an interesting watch at home on video, Netflix and chill. But at the end of the day, going to the theater and watch it, I didn't like the other two that much. If you're on the same page as I am, don't bother. And as I mentioned before, if you, you know, had a great interest in, the, in, in Angel, Angels, Demons, and Dementia Code, then by all means, go watch it, have a ball. You probably are going to enjoy it. But I'm willing to bet you probably won't. Be sure you get some good rest because you may fall asleep watching this at some point. Either way, if you guys are going to watch it, let me know what you think. As always, comment below and don't forget to subscribe and feed money to go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. See you guys next time.